And now, Minion Works presents Freelance Heroism. Hey everybody and welcome to Freelance Heroism. My name is Dees. And I'm Rachel. And before we even get started, we want to give a big shout out to all of our Patreon supporters out there, in particular people who donate at the producer tier and above. Rachel, would you like to tell us who they are? I would love to. We want to say thank you to Vox of Astora, Rebecca, Mo Walker, Chris Deeds, Chris Stones, Christopher Hildebrand, Brickmeister, Orient underscore Tiger, and The Minion Works. Thank you so much, you guys. Yes, thank you for real. It is really uh, just it's great to have people out there trying to make a better show for everyone. And in particular, giving us the resources we need to to do just that. Yeah. Rachel's got tooth pain. <laughs> we don't have to talk about that. I want to talk about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> we we don't have to if you don't want to. But I just send what is it? Like what do they do? Hopes and prayers. Oh, my th- th- hopes, uh, hopes thoughts, and bra- thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers and brain waves and whatnot. You know, I know how shitty it is. I'm sorry that you have it. Yeah. Hopefully, it goes away. Um, that's what I'm. That's what I'm hoping for, rather than having to like arrange and then pay for a dentist. I would rather it just went away. Well, yeah. I mean, everyone does. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't. That's a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anywho, uh, I wanted to. Tell you, I mean, it's kind of a bummer. Um. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to talk about MF Doom just for just a second. Yeah. For those who don't know, MF Doom, um, Doom LA, uh, he's a rapper. He was in, I want to say KMD, was the name of his original band with his brother Sub Rock, mm-hmm. way back in the day. Uh, and uh, so he got picked up by this band. It was like a hip hop band, Third Base. They're kind of, eh. but they got real popular. They signed a couple people. They made one album, and then. In the middle of making their second album, right before release or right after release, his brother Sub Rock got killed uh, oh. crossing a highway, got hit by a car, and he passed. Oh. MF Doom uh, kind of disappeared. The band ended, came the, and then mm-hmm. came back years later um, as this masked supervillain named MF Doom. Mm-hmm. And remember all caps when you spelled a man's name, right? Uh huh. MF Doom is one of the best rappers of all time. And I'm he's not as popular. He's not on the radio. You're not going to hear him on TV. He's not going to be any fucking Toyota commercials. <laughs> it's just not it's not that's not him. Right. But he is so fucking good. I've listened to him for years. I love every album, all of them. Neruvian Doom all the way back to fucking mm, Food all the way back to Victor Vaughn the Vaudeville Villain. We're talking uh, Born Like This. They're all fantastic Mm -hmm. albums um each song is good you've Uh, sent me like a few of his his songs and it's not like a it's not a genre that i normally listen to but listening to his songs i feel i feel dumb and i feel like i need to sit there with like a pen and paper to like decipher the lyrics like they're so good couldn't hurt I mean, MF Doom is is just fantastic. I mean, he's very dense, rhythmically dense. He's creative in his delivery. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I just just love him so much. Yeah. Uh, Not to mention, he gets my supervillain thing, which I just just dig it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, So, it's a bummer to say it, but but he passed on October 31st. Uh, I don't want to sound too mushy and i bet he wouldn't like that either but i wanted to <laughs> to just kind of tell a short story about him uh-huh. um he did an interview one time where they asked him about why he always wore his metal mask he wore a mask after he came back after came he used to wear this mask all the time and it sort of became the look he's known for this uh this iron face plate uh-huh. and people asked him why he'd wear it and he would tell. Uh, he told this one interviewer that the reason he wore it is because he thought hip hop was getting to the point where they cared more about what the artist looked like and not what the artist sounded like. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't about skill anymore. It was about do you look okay with your shirt off? Can you be on the front of a poster? How many right. tattoos you got? What kind of chains do you wear? Mm-hmm. And he hated that shit. So he just showed up 
this big fat dude with a fucking <laughs> like with this like Bill Cosby sweater is all fucking ratted and tattered <laughs> and he wear this big mask he's balding up top and <laughs> yeah it's just he's fantastic so good yeah um and it didn't matter what he looked like and you couldn't tell who he was in public MF Doom just he was a supervillain and I, I love him to death and if you haven't listened to him you should sp- take an hour you know go listen to Figaro go listen to Meat Grinder um, I mean there's too many good songs I can't name all of them but those two in particular are very good mm-hmm. um, I like the Victor Von Vaudeville Villain album which, by the way, is one of the best titles. <laughs> he said, "He said, V bring beef like a trucker to Fuddrucker. Delivery <laughs> to all y'all motherfuckers of bloodsuckers. <laughs> he said, he said, uh, uh, are you rappers or stripping males? Out of work jerks since they shut down Chippendales. So, <laughs> talking about rappers who always had to have their shirt off for their music videos. It's so funny. Um, anyway. So, Doom, sorry. Uh, I don't think there's anything after we die, but I, this is one of the few opportunities where I hope that there is for MF2. So you can go run the joint. Okay. Rachel. Yeah. This new chair is fantastic. I love it. That's all I want to talk about. <laughs> can we do that? You fin- or- Yeah, you finally got it. I'm jealous. It's I want one. so fucking good. I feel like a fucking king in this thing. The armrests. <laughs> go all the way up so you can seem like this like a gr- like I'm leaning forward in my chair right now like I'm about to give the order <laughs> I don't know what order it is yet uh-huh. but I feel malevolent that's good oh it's very good and it's got a high back like I'm some sort of ancient runic king <laughs> bring me the head of pita pan like I just you know everyone should have one of these Mm. Yeah, anyway, so I'm really excited about it. Also, I don't know if you can hear it, which you can't, which is probably your favorite thing. It makes no squeakies. That's my no favorite No more part. complaining to me about the squeakies. <laughs> if if that's why you were listening to the podcast, to hear Deese's chair make noise, <laughs> I got some bad news for you. Okay, well, that was the last one. And now you guys get no more noise from me. Okay. Rachel, what's going on over there in tooth pain world? <laughs> uh, mostly waiting for my ibuprofen to kick in. Woo! Sounds like an exciting time. It is. Woo! <laughs> so much. God, this intro is bottoming out quick. <laughs> it is. I used to. I'm. I can't see my old dentist anymore because he's in a different state. But I used to go to this dentist who. He was fantastic. He was an absolute ghoul. And like his office was like in this weird rundown building that was like half an eyeglasses store and then half was his dentistry and like the eyeglasses place they had like this little french bulldog that would like follow you into the dentist office part and you had to like park behind the building and like go in through like this back entryway what and were then... you going to a gang hideout <laughs> were you having <laughs> some like buzzsaw doctor work on you the dentists had like these assistants, and so they like you never saw the dentist. Were they strippers? No. Oh, okay. Never I'm just saw making the sure dentist. you weren't the bada bing getting dental work. <laughs> you never saw the dentist. They would always take you to like the the little room, um, but you would pass by what was his office, and that's where he, unless he was actively working on a patient, that was where he was. And his office was usually the door was shut, but sometimes. Like, if it was open, you could look in. And he had all the windows to his office blacked out. And he had this massive wooden desk that had to have been built in that room. Because there's no way it would have fit through the door. Uh And, like, one wall was just all of these books. And he had, like, maybe a single lamp on on his desk. And that was the only light in that room. Like, because the windows were, were blacked out. And then he would just like come out to do his dentistry, and then he would immediately go back to his office. And it was he was so weird. That and sounds I, awesome. I had a friend who worked at a nearby grocery store, and she also would go to him for dentist work. And she said that the only time they would ever see him was like 
it had to be after dark and that was the only time he would go <laughs> to the grocery store was once it was already pitch dark outside like no one ever saw him outside during the day look at this knowledgeable about teeth only goes out at night blacked out curtains he was a vampire dr vampire <laughs> i know there's he a joke there's a joke from uh uh scrubs where his doctor's last name is acula <laughs> or no no it's he he wrote a, a screenplay about dr acula uh anyway but he i miss i miss that dentist because even though he was because he's thralled your mind that could be it but he was also really good at, at his job like I don't know, like they he figured out what was the issue and like, oh, and like there he never the... had to reschedule your appointments like he was always just there in his pitch black office just, just waiting to perform dentistry sharpening his bone scimitar <laughs> waiting for the night to fall <laughs> okay well hey you know mm -hmm. i'm sorry you don't have your dracula doctor anymore i me too i miss him <laughs> well, maybe you'll find a new doctor. Maybe this one will be a werewolf. Oh, Ooh. exciting. Yeah. Well, I'm in the Northeast. Maybe it'll be like a, a Wendigo. Eh, I don't like Wendigo doctors. Oh. Yeah. Why? It's the antlers. Oh, the antlers. <laughs> anyway, uh, Rachel, do you want to go to the episode now? We can. Right on. Uh, this is... Oh, I, I just remembered what this is. Is it the butthole episode? It is. Uh, so we are oh. we are ringing in the new year with uh, Bard Company. <laughs> this episode gets very very fixated. Uh, I guess is a good way to. <laughs> I like to see it as focused. <laughs> uh, let's see the the title for this week's Bard Company is "There's a Spear in My Rear." <laughs> Let's look at the Hank Williams song. <laughs> Fear in my rear. <laughs> or you dear. I think it punctured my spine. <laughs> Solid. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a serviceable Hank Williams. Am I crazy? Okay, fine. Whatever. Go to the episode. <laughs> okay. You're gonna judge me on my old rustic cowboy music. <laughs> I don't know. Orcs sound orcs sound like just good old fashioned, you know, red, white, blue American bloodletting. Uh -huh. A banshee could, you know, a banshee could involve magic, and I think we've dabbled a little bit more in that than I care to to deal with right now. So, are the are the orcs closer, or do we have to pass the orcs on the way? Or, or... if you well, the um, so the banshee is closer to the trail. Uh, the orcs would be, you would kind of have to go into the hills. Well, if we hear the banshee on the way to the orcs, I guess we'll have to do that. But and, and, so, and, and the cleric, this is, this is the, uh, this the is the blind cleric. This is the female blind cleric that you've got a thing for, right, Varys? I don't have a thing for her anymore. It was, yeah, I thought Varys was the one that had a thing for her. <laughs> oh, maybe he does. Maybe. <laughs> I got a thing for a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Eloquent as always. <laughs> I got a thing for a lot of things. Because so, that's my uh, thing. Right? <sighs> I'm going to start with this beer thing right here. See if I can show you guys. The banshee is like here. The orcs are down here. And where are we? You guys will be. You guys are here. So you have to okay. like go all the way over here. But oh, uh, there, to the hills. Yeah. The hills have eyes. All right. So you guys are going orcs? Orcs. Orcs. Okay. We're going to go beat up Ragnick's family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. It's his, it's his half family, remember? All orcs are related. <laughs> uh, so who's doing, the, who's doing the tracking to find this orc camp? <laughs> I uh, know <laughs> you're not asking me. 
What what I'm is not part it? of this conversation? Is it survival to track or uh, what is either survival or perception? Uh, survival is going to be an easier DC. Let's see what I can do. Oh, I have a plus one in survival, so probably I got you know, a plus actually, three on it. Okay, okay. that does roll see. really well. Good. Get, Mel? I got uh, well. I rolled an eighteen, so I got twenty-one total for okay. survival. Uh, so you guys look around the hills for a while. And eventually, the faint smell of smoke hangs in the air as you ascend a rugged ridge on the lower slopes of the hill. Fifty yards away, a cave mouth opens up at the bottom of a ravine. Hunkered down by a boulder twenty yards outside the cave, keeping watch is a single orc. Has he seen us? He has not. Hi, orc! (laughs) That orc doesn't look very big. Uh, he's he's super far away. That's why we've talked about this already. That really wasn't the best idea. <laughs> oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Look, I... orcs. I know that you guys like to you know cause trouble, but the town is really getting upset. You can <laughs> knock that shit off. This would go really well for everyone. Actually, I I think I am actually just gonna walk up to the orc. <laughs> okay. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> my name's Renazmir. <laughs> I'm gonna like, hold my hand out to shake. Okay. Is anyone going with Renazmir? I don't think you want me to do any negotiations anymore. With oh. the orcs, I'm fine. With dragons, maybe fucking think about it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you can negotiate your head against the door a hundred times. You can negotiate with orcs, <laughs> goblins, hobgoblins, whatever. But what's Let's leave the negotiations. How many orcs? In the, how many in the positive you? realm? You can see one orc. Perception check to see if there are others stealth for hiding. They attack yeah. from the sides like raptors. Oh, there, man. That's a nine. I don't see shit. Uh, Seventeen on the perception. Okay. So it's just this one orc hanging out in front of a cave entrance. Oh shit! It's like his smoke <sighs> break. So, uh, Renazmir, you head over to the orc. As you approach, I assume you're not being stealthy since you're like, hey, orc, you know. Well, yeah, I don't know his name yet. I don't want to be racist or anything, but I don't know his name. Okay. Uh, I call you Toby. Look over at you and uh, take out his javelin. uh, And he's going to throw it at you. Hey, what the hell? What kind of fucking welcoming committee is this? I assume he's going to miss with a seven. That would be a miss, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I repay the favor with a shot from my bow? Let's roll uh, initiative. I was just going to say the I've same got, thing. <laughs> if you hit with a seven, you have to have like a dog cone around your head. It just funnels all <laughs> the in your face. Uh, uh, all right. God. Fucking Kiwanis Club sucks around here. Jesus. I a 15 initiative. 15. No. <laughs> 22. I rolled in that 20 for my initiative. Nice. Very Five. Five okay. for the initiative. Okay. For now. Fuck boat. <laughs> fuck boat. All about the fuck boat. <laughs> what did you get? Eight. Eight. Okay. Let's check something. I swear to God. <laughs> I think my app is broken. My <sighs> dice rolling app is garbage tonight, man. See, that's why I wanted to find in my actual physical oh. dice. Oh, yeah. That's because that's what it is. Dice are never weighted. Uh, if your dice properly. actually just keep that up for next week, will be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go fuck yourself, d <laughs> <laughs> Will we get this to the dude, castle? This dude literally throws a fucking basement full of poo water at us. <laughs> Bro, dude, we're not even going to ask any questions. Dude, I have listened to countless Curse of Strahd's played in you know, Draven Lodge. You're the only one that ever said that dungeon was full of shit water. Ever I fucking asked, asked you asked how high it. the buckets were. You said two feet. I said, Nobody how high is the ever... water? You said three feet. That's a yes. whole <laughs> fucking foot of poo float space. <laughs> Nobody Wait, else man. has ever fucking <laughs> asked for fucking shit water Other down people there. haven't been observant. No, not like that. <laughs> it was sludgy poop water, and Rachel was neck deep in it. Up to so, her fucking... She was walking around with, like, one of those straws, like, in the cartoons. Like a reed breathing through a fucking poo tube. Oh, yeah, dude, because she walked in the one area that went to five feet deep. 
turds on the forehead, huh? Oh no, it was like all the way. It was all the way up to her fucking face. Like her face, the fucking werewolf out of the cell. Gross. She was fucking. Just like uh. like a wave of poo would hit her, like a like a tide, <laughs> and her whole body would go like, oh, oh. The whole time, Deese is all the way down the hallway up the stairs, like I ain't fucking touching. I was literally, I did not step in that water, <laughs> not one time. She she activated a trap, yeah. and I was like, nope. <laughs> You're just gonna have to run away from that trap. Nice. There's no fucking uh. way I'm getting this poo water on my coat. Not that trap actually didn't activate. Whatever. Yeah. The whole uh, trap. Got, the trap is the water. The poo water. The, 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 the trap would have. Uh, if you rolled a five on a D100, would have sucked you down without a save, and dropped you through the water into one of the prison cells. Flushed. Right. The orc is gonna kind of like <laughs> lean towards the um, the cave entrance, and he's gonna yell, "We have company!" And Virian, it is your. In turn. common. Uh, I don't. know. No, you know, I think he orcish. doesn't understand the concept of company. I mean, we come over greeting ourselves, you know. Uh, that, that's not how you treat company, maybe, fucker. Maybe they're having a kebab barbecue in the cave, and he just wanted us to have a stick with which to roast our assorted uh, meats and vegetables. That's fine. Actually, I'll give. I'll, uh-oh. Yeah, he says it in common. Yeah, I, 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 I return the kebab favor. I'm going to try and put my long sword straight through his larynx. I'm going to put an onion on it and then throw it back out. <laughs> <laughs> this was undercooked, fucker. Uh, um, <laughs> this is the slowest way I've ever made one of these. Uh, that's going to be a 16. 16 will hit. Keeping with the musical uh, <laughs> joke, <laughs> I'm going to pick up his Java Lynn Manuel Miranda and throw it back <laughs> at him. <sighs> What's the damage variant? Uh, yeah, I guess I should roll that, right? Um. Oh no, Devin Freed. <gasps> My internet go out. Uh, Rachel, hey, I'm back. welcome back. Hey. We thought you were being really still. <laughs> yeah, then it, then it got a little creepy, actually. Like, oh, yeah. She's really, really still. <laughs> no, she's being mad at us or not. Um. <laughs> It was Sorry, only one hit. <laughs> you okay. Only hit it once. Uh, <laughs> Virian, how much damage did you do? Uh, two hundred and thirty-nine. I. Um, don't... <laughs> okay. Um, six. Adjusted for inflation. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, so the entire time you were gone, the exchange rate changed rapidly. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was six points of damage. Okay. Excellent. The orc's turn. The one that just threw his javelin at Renazmir. And now has a long sword through his Adam's apple. He will take out his great axe. Ooh. Um, I've seen greater. (laughs) I expected bigger. (laughs) (laughs) That axe isn't that big. It's really not that great of an axe. I don't think Uh, this orc is metal. Then he'll activate his breath weapon. No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I did throw him an onion. uh, Virian, you are adjacent to him. Uh, yeah, I would have to be to okay. have stabbed him in the throat. I'm a Chucky to him. You're a Jason. I'm a Chucky. Who's going to be the Freddy? Who's going to be a Freddy to him? That's me. Okay. All right, then you're Mike Myers. You? I'm sorry, does it what hit me? 17. Uh, all day long and twice on Sunday. <laughs> 16 hits R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Put on <boom. laughs> Oh, shit. You take... And he's back. <laughs> Five slashing damage. Accounted for. Did, did um, he wrote a song. I'm sorry. R. Kelly wrote a song called My Bodies. Because <laughs> <laughs> my mind's telling me no. And so is the my, law. <laughs> <laughs> my body. My body's telling me yeah. Like, that's not your mind, man. That's that's the cops. <laughs> <laughs> that's the court. Not your mind. That's your, every person you know telling your, you no. Uh, <sighs> Another orc is going to run out of the cave. Uh, this one, he looks older than the first one. And he will... Uh, Virian, are you the only one up at the cave? No, I thought I'm up at I the was... Cave. Yeah, I was about to say, I was standing next to uh, Renazmir. Okay, so he will... Um, if he has to, he'll use his bonus action to move up to Renazmir. 
and he will attack with his great axe. That's not an axe. This is an axe. Uh, does it like a... 12 hit you? A 12? Yeah. No. Oh. All right. Mel, your turn. All right. I'm still back, I guess. We were, what, about 50 feet? I think about 20 yards, but I would assume that, like, as Renazmir started moving towards the cave, you're probably following. So. Okay. All right. You're able to um, get in range. Yeah. I'm going to fire my longbow. Okay. At which one? Uh, javelin tosser. Okay. 18. 18 will hit. Six damage. All right. He is still alive. Uh, that was Mel. Anything else, Mel? Um, no. Okay. The ground begins to kind of shake as out of the cave an ogre comes out. Uh, this is a large creature. Uh, he is wielding a great club. I've seen greater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he will uh, swing at Virian. Virian does a 22 hit you. And my grandparents. Okay. <laughs> you take 15 bludgeoning damage. For Nazmir, it is your turn. Okay. I'm going to uh, cast Dissonant Whispers through my guitar playing. Okay. At the uh, the ogre. All right. And uh, what I'm going to say to him is, your butthole is the size of a corn cob. <laughs> <laughs> Does he make a save? Yeah, he makes the wisdom saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he got a three. That's a fail. <laughs> All right. uh, he takes 12 damage and has to run like a coward. He has to run? Yeah, dude, with a hold <laughs> available, size. it moves as its speed allows away from you. The creature doesn't move into obviously dangerous grounds of spire or pit on its successful safety takes out. Yeah, he has to run. Okay. Oh, God, everybody knows my... <laughs> my bungles the size of my secrets uh, I must run in shame how did he know he I've accurately been... figured the diameter of my bubble run <laughs> <laughs> alright um, I did that at the carnival for 10 years <laughs> weight is easy judge the thickness of my bunghole <laughs> you, really, you really want to impress me <laughs> Uh, another orc will come out of the cave. Uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> Rachel's trying so hard not to think about a corn cob. <laughs> oh, it's the corn cob that's the problem, not the butthole. <laughs> uh, he oh, throw, God. Um, <laughs> the ground, and he will throw his javelin at uh, Mel. That's right. You don't want to fuck with this. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want me to guess yours. Mel, does a 14 hit you? No, it does not. Okay. Varys, it is your turn. All right. I am going to... We have three orcs out and an ogre, right? Yes. And the ogre ran back into the cave. He is not... It's not his turn yet. He hasn't moved. Okay. So I'm going to cast Bane, which I believe allows me to target three. Mm -hmm. Up to three creatures to your choice that you can see within range must make charisma saving throws. Whenever that target fails a saving throw, when he fails the saving throw, and he makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number from the attack roll. Oh, or that's like that throw. curse, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So they have to do charisma checks at DC 14s. <laughs> Three of them. Nate. What happened? Nate in the chat. A C pop. She yeah. really <laughs> just just seeing that now. Uh, All right, so you pick three. called a popcorn. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with the two orcs that have the most life and the ogre. Okay, and these are charisma saving throws. Yep. Okay, so let's see here. First orc that has the most life, uh, one on Renazmir. He fails. Second orc, the one that threw a javelin at. Mel does an eight pass. 
No, it's a DC 14. Okay. And the ogre got a nine. Yeah, he's not coming out of that fear shit anytime soon. Okay, so they <laughs> are... <laughs> <laughs> you are on a <laughs> You're on a roll. Oh, I love these. <sighs> Sorry, talk about, we talk about that corn porn. And this is a concentration spell. Yes. So it just happens once. Mm-hmm. I mean, it lasts up to oh. a minute. Oh, okay. So it's for the whole course of the concentration, up to a minute. Yeah. Okay. So they have to roll a d4 and subtract that for the attack. From their attacks and savings. We're saving. Okay. Excellent. Yes, uh, Jake, I love that hat, by the way. Anything else, Ferris? Drink my beer. Okay. <laughs> uh, what another, else are you going to do? Another orc is going to come out of the cave. Uh, he'll throw his javelin at Varus. Wait a minute. He should have disadvantage because he's an ogre's running back in the cave after. The ogre hasn't gone yet. He hasn't moved. Oh, okay. The orc throws his javelin at Varus. Of course Varys, he does. Does a 19 hit you? Well, shit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck you uh, think? I'm drunk. I can't fucking move. <laughs> <laughs> Nine damage. Okay. And now yeah. I've got to roll a concentration on fucking nine. That's right. Fifteen. Ah. All right. Uh, another orc comes out of the cave. Of course uh, he does. He will make an attack on Renazmir with Great Axe. I've seen greater. <laughs> does a 17 hit you? <laughs> yes. Okay. He deals. Ooh. 13 damage. Holy God. Do you hear her? It deals. Ooh. <laughs> it's that fake condescension of <laughs> sorry, but not sorry. Uh, you guys talk shit about my kids. You're going to fucking die, all of you. <laughs> uh, and another orc runs out of the cave. Uh, he That's will... what, six orcs now? Yes. This is six orcs and one Jeez. ogre. I didn't even have to take my shoes off the camp. <laughs> Uh, he will throw his javelin at Renazmir uh, and miss. And Virian, it is your turn. Yes, it is. I made my first death save. Oh, no. Okay. Next. Right. He's down again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I took 8 and then 15 points of bludgeoning damage from the oh. fucking ogre that came out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. The orc. This is the first orc, the one that was guarding the cave entrance. He was on Varian. He will. Let's see. He threw his javelin already. So he will move up the hill to Mel and attack with his great axe. Uh, a little crowded up here. Mel, does a 24 hit you? Oh, not at all. Okay. <laughs> of course it does. You definitely don't take 14 slashing damage. Okay. Ow. Next orc's turn. This is the one that looks kind of older than the others. Like, he's more grizzled. <laughs> uh, he will throw his javelin at Barris. Isn't that the one that baned by chance? Uh, did you bane this? Oh, you did bane this one. Ha ha! So then that's a <laughs> minus. Does a 15 hit you? Damn. I mean, no. Okay. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Four piercing damage. Better than it could be. Mel, it is your turn. 17 on the con check. That's a pass. All uh, right, so... So you have one orc in melee with you. Two of members of your party are unconscious. Oh my All god. Right. I am going to rage. Okay. Pulling out Talon. All right. And smashing the shit out of this orc. Okay. That's a 23. That will hit. Fantastic. And 10 points of damage. He is dead. Aha. All right. I'm going Anything to be composing else? a new song called Orc Slayer. Is that going to be with your new band? Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay. You want to move at all? Yeah, I'm going to move up into the fray here. 
Okay. Are you moving to any orc in particular? Refresh me on where everything is and where everyone is now. I have... Let's see. There's an... The orc that looks kind of more older and grizzled than the others is in melee with Renazmir. Uh, there's an ogre kind of standing over Virian after he knocked him down. The ogre's going next. Um, and then there's some other orcs that have run out. They're not in melee with anyone, though. They've mm -hmm. uh, been throwing their javelins before they move up into melee. Okay, I'm going to go towards the ogre. Okay. Because I don't, I don't, I don't know that he's been dissonant whispered. That's true. So I'm, I, I'm going to go towards the ogre. Oh shit! If you hit him, he he doesn't run. Is there like a verbal or somatic component to your? It yeah. Dissonant I mean, voice? he would have seen me play the guitar and okay. whisper corn, <laughs> corn thickness. Yeah, but I I wouldn't have known where it was directed though. That's fair. And I haven't seen a reaction from it because he hasn't moved, so. Yeah. Well, you can't attack him this turn. Yeah, I, I know. I know. So it's Mel. So you move up there. It is the ogre's turn. So he just runs? <laughs> I told you! Okay, I'm just... I'll tell all your friends about the thickness. <laughs> let me... Hold on, let me look. Uh, they call him Concave Colon Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Con. Sorry. Must immediately use its reaction, if available, to move oh. away. So it would have already been moving. Oh, okay. okay. So, sorry, Mel. So the ogre's already running. I'm sorry. Okay. So then I would be going after the one with that's going on with Ren Renazmir. Okay. Okay. All right. So you move up to him. How long does he run away, Renazmir? For one turn at max uh, speed. Okay. So he Sweet. foregoes everything else and goes as fast as he can. So, like, I guess run, run. Okay. Like a so, dash action. Yeah. And the next turn, he'll have to spend all that movement to, to come back. back. Yeah. So he's essentially out for two rounds. Yeah, and he took 12 damage. Yes. And the damage is just once? Yeah, it's just the one. Okay. Uh, Renazmir, it is your turn. Okay. Now there's a lot of cool stuff I can do, but since we have two people down, it sort of limits my <laughs> my, uh, Who's the second person down? I thought you said two people were down. I know we got one down. Are oh, you you're not uh, down? I thought you were mm -hmm. down. I thought you okay. said you made a death save. Not me. Okay. You made a con save. Uh -huh. I did a con save. I passed the con save because you dealt me um, four damage, so I had to do another con save. I've only taken thirteen. All right. So. Oh, okay. Sorry. So just one person's down. Okay. Right. That changes things <laughs> dramatically. Um, it's all right, man. Half the time I drink, everyone thinks I'm fucking dead anyway. <laughs> I need some placement. Who's on my left? Who's on my right? I'm on your back. You okay? You're behind me. Yeah. I'm. I'm most likely unconscious to your left. Yeah. We'll okay. Say, yeah. And then Jake is. Uh, he's attacking he, one that's near me, right? Yeah, he's attacking the one that was in melee with you. Okay, so he's on the side, like kind of we're on. Yeah, like, I would have. I would have positioned the... myself to flank. Oh, so you're directly behind him. Yeah, I would have. I okay. would have positioned myself to flank, obviously. Okay, so the other orcs that threw their javelins, how far out are they? They're kind of scattered around the mouth of the cave. So how far apart? They're kind of close together, just because they all had to, you know, exit the cave the, mouth. Yeah, at the opening. So. We'll say there's like three kind of clustered together and then one that's kind of about 10 feet off from the others. Okay. Any of them take damage yet? No. Okay. Well, then I'm going to Earth Tremor. I'm going to run over towards their direction and Earth Tremor. Okay. Okay. They have to make a deck saving throw. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll... If they, they, and keep in mind that some of them have the negatives, right? Yes. So if they, uh, on a failed save, creature takes 1d6 bludgeoning damage and it's not prone. Uh, does an 11 pass? No. Okay. It has to be a 14. Okay. They all fail. Yeah. 
They all take uh, 1d6, so let me roll that. Five, woot. Okay. And uh, if the ground in that area is loose earth or stone, which is outside of the cave, I'm assuming it is, it becomes difficult terrain until cleared with each five-foot diameter portion requiring at least one minute to clear by hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's going to be difficult terrain. They'll be moving slow. All right. Okay. And they're all knock prone, so they got to stand up. Free beats. Nice. All right. Anything else for Nazmir? I'm going to look at one of them and it'll be like a thin piece of Twizzler thickness. <laughs> you have the tightest butthole of your group. <laughs> it's like a cigar cutter back there. <laughs> uh, so one of the orcs will spend half his movement standing up and then the rest of his movement trying to get through the difficult terrain to you. So he can't do anything else. But there is now one adjacent to you. It's one of the ones that got baned. Varus, it is your turn. I want to take a shot at the one that's in melee range with Mel. Okay. The kind of grizzled looking one? Yeah, the older one. Okay. Pull back my bow. And that is a 23. That will hit. That is an 8 damage. Okay. And I'll pass Bardic Inspiration... Off to Mel. All right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you get advantage on all those dudes who are prone. Oh, shit. Oh. You can whack them all on those motherfuckers. So roll ah. again to see if you get a nat 20. Nah. Okay. <laughs> nah. I'll, I'll keep 23. <laughs> all right. One of the orcs has to spill all his movement standing up and then moving towards you guys. So does the next one. Never underestimate so calling out one. someone's butthole <laughs> thickness. They just don't know how to handle it. They're just like, oh my god, everything is so difficult now. Everyone can see my butthole thickness. Virian, it is your turn. Alright, let's go ahead and make yet another death save. Hopefully. No. Oh. That is a three. Oh, that is man. a failure. Right. Can you do an action, like a check in the same turn as you cast a spell? Uh, I think that that would also be an action, wouldn't it? I mean, I'm just gonna check. You go ahead and do your thing. It won't okay. be relevant until next time. Okay. Let's see your grizzled orc guy. Mel, that's the guy you went up to, right? Yes. Okay. So he will make an attack on you. He got a nat 20. Of course he did. Is that one baned? Is he baned? He is baned. I guess we'll say. Thank you. It's just a regular attack then. Mel, you take eight slashing damage. All right, thank you. And it is your turn. All right. I'm raging, so I have advantage on my. Oh, well, I'm flanking too, so I would have advantage. I don't think that's a normal. D&D rule. I think that's an alternate rule that David uses, and I don't use it. Okay. What rule? That flanking gives you advantage. Okay. Uh, 21 flanking doesn't give you advantage? I think it's like an like a variant rule that is a, mentioned in the DMG. No. That's a holdover from 4th edition. Oh, I that's fine. It is. I, got, I got a 21. It that actually originated in 3.5. That will hit, Jake. Eight points of damage. Okay. My damage rolls are starting to suck now. This guy is uh, definitely hardier than the other orcs. Uh, normally, the amount of damage he's taken, if he was a regular orc, he would be dead at this point. But he's still okay. alive. He won't be for much longer. He cannot resist the brutal power of metal! So, um, yeah, I just looked it up. There, apparently... It was in 3.5, it was in 4, and it was in Pathfinder, but in 5e, there's no flanking. Yeah, there's no flanking based mm -hmm. on position, or no uh, advantage. And because I'm a mean DM, I don't uh. use it in my game. The ogre is going to spend his turn coming back. So he is now back, but he doesn't get to do any fighting this round. Uh, Renazmir, it is your turn. Who has taken damage of these? They've all taken damage, right? The ones around me? Uh, the only one that has taken damage 
is the grizzled looking orc and the ogre. And he's taken two hits, right? Uh, the ogre has taken one hit. The grizzled orc has taken all, two hits. All the ones that fell down took five points of damage. By the way. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they took five points of damage. They are. Yeah, so everyone's taking damage. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, told the dead okay. at the grizzled guy. It's gonna okay. be one d twelve, and I'm gonna gain five hit points or no four mm. hit points. Does he make a save or anything? Wisdom save. Yeah, Wisdom. yeah I don't think he's gonna pass it. No. Uh, he takes five, and mm-hmm. I gain four. All right, he is looking pretty rough. Uh, anything else for Nazmir? Uh, I'm going to look at him and be like, a full apple. It won't even touch the sides. He just looks really weirded out. <laughs> That's the point of this. That's the whole... <laughs> uh, the orc that moved over to you last turn, Renazmir, he's going to attack you with his great axe. And miss. Barret. Yes? It is your turn. I will pull my bow back and fire that old thing again. Okay. Roll your attack. 18. 18 will hit. Woo! And that's a 7. He is barely alive. <laughs> Hot damn! <laughs> oh, fuck. Just die already. Too good for death. Uh, let's see here. Quick, throw an apple in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the orcs is going to spend the rest of his movement getting over to you, Varus. Oh, attack. shit this turn the last orc that still has his javelin is going to throw it at varus and miss because all of a sudden all my rolls are terrible oh Oh, it sucks to be (laughs) it's just a goddamn (laughs) there's a lady who almost wiped us with a dragon earlier and fucking it's not my fault oh i'm sorry i don't get to do 13 damage every time i roll Mm. uh and the other orc uh, let's see, he's already thrown his javelin, so he will spend his movement getting over to uh, Varys. And... <laughs> Everyone's going after Varys! Uh, Virian, it is your turn. You know why they don't attack me? Because they know what I'm capable of. <laughs> Alright, come on. Good number. Ooh, that's an 18. That's a good number. Whoa! Pass. Yep, so two successes and one failure. Excellent. Don't roll a one. Why well, gotta see shit like that? Done. Can we aid another on his um <laughs> on his See when Aaron, when Aaron Sorry, tells me that I tell him to eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel right about telling you that. But the sentiment is there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh. Hashtag equality. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. This is why I only do Bard Company like once every three months is because I'm just so mean. Mm. <laughs> just to store it up. That's three months. It's actually so nice for the rest of the time. Three, three months sorry. of forehead jokes all stored up. I hate to see the shit she takes that on her boss. Shit. <laughs> She just I killed one of his characters. I just <laughs> flat out killed him. I was like, no, there's not enough left of you to be resurrected. Like, it says so in the, the monster thing. <laughs> like, nice. not even like a toe or something. I'm like, no, your character cannot yeah. be normally resurrected. Yeah, all that's you left of you is your All that's left of you is your belly button and your asshole, though. You're dead. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> and that was, that's my boss that I did that to. I don't do thicknesses of belly buttons. <laughs> Uh, uh, Miss Moore, we have to talk about your end of year review now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Grizzled Orc's turn. He will swing his great axe at Renazmir. All together. I've seen great. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, it is your turn. All right. Uh, Obviously, we have because he missed. <laughs> That's a 23 to hit the grizzled dude. That will hit. Yeah. 10 points of damage. Okay. He is dead. (laughs) (laughs) I thought she was going to be like, he is hanging on by a thread. (laughs) 15 damage. He's almost there. (laughs) He goes into his second phase. When Uh, he he falls, uh, one of the orcs looks over and he goes, they killed the axe biter. And he sounds like panicked. 
Now they have to climb over those rocks to run away. <laughs> <laughs> the ogre, uh, however, does not look as upset about the axe biter being dead. And he will attack Mel with his... Let's see, Bring it. Back. With his corn cob pipe. <laughs> <laughs> He'll throw his javelin at you. <laughs> so, Bring it. Uh, well, that's yeah, a 19 babe. on the die. He does have Bane. It'll hit. He's a husky boy. She's going to make me pay for this Bane. Does a 22 hit you, Mel? Yes, it does. Oh my okay. God. With Bane? You yes, with the Bane. Jesus. Uh, <sighs> oh, Lord. That's 13 piercing damage. 13. Yes. Right. He attacks you with his bane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, uh, Renazmir, it is your turn. I, I'm just trying to work around the name Axe Biter because I mean I can understand like Axe Thrash. I, to say that he's Axe Biter would kind of suggest that he's always taking an axe to the face, wouldn't it? I mean, <laughs> either that or he's just got a horrible, horrible jaw clenching problem, and so they have to shove an axe blade. <laughs> Into no, his just, mouth at night when he sleeps. They just pronounce axe weird. They, oh. they, they, they ass biter. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Uh, hey, it's the cornhole size. <laughs> Who's now for a game of cornhole? Ernestmere, it is your turn. It looks like the orcs are preparing to flee. Uh, however, the ogre does not look like he is. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm going to dissonant whispers again. Okay. <laughs> And that's a charisma saving throw? <laughs> uh, hold on. That is wisdom. 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 12. I assume you're going after the ogre? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he got a 12. That doesn't do it. Okay. Okay. So what are you going to whisper this time? So he... Wait, let me swallow my drink before he says it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's going to be another 12 damage. Okay. And he's going to hear a whisper in his ear saying, and I'm the size of corn. <laughs> they call me the cobbler <laughs> <sighs> and then so he panics and runs again he's gonna <laughs> use his reaction to run away uh, so if you're with the melee of him which would be Mel and Renazmir uh, you could take attack of opportunities if you would like although I think that would cancel the running yes. God, I love that. that this guy runs out I'm like, taking the your butthole is the size of corn. And then he's like, oh my god. And he runs back in the cave. And then he comes running back and I'm like, and I'm corn shaped. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> he says your comic. Uh, and when oh, he comes oh, back oh, out, oh. I'm going to cast it again. I'm going to be like, and I'm bringing butter. <laughs> <laughs> he should have advantage for the butter one. <sighs> oh god. Are you guys, are you two making attacks of opportunity? I'm going to. I got it from this dude's bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make your attack, Mel. I don't think an eight's going to do it. Uh, an eight will not do it. Darn it. Oh, well. For Nazmir? What, is it my turn again? No, are you <laughs> making an attack of opportunity when he runs away? I want him to run away. Okay. Because once he runs away, he, by the way, there's like jagged rocks and shit, so he's like climbing over and trying to get away. <laughs> And then he's got to climb back over him to get back to it. Just stay in the fucking cave, dude. All right. I'll so do he, it again. He runs. The other orc that is that was hitting you, Renazmir, uh, he's going to turn around and run. Uh, would you like to make an attack of opportunity? Uh, yeah, I'm going to hit him with my guitar. Okay. Uh, right. Ah, the old El Cabong move. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm going to hit him in the butthole. Though, so El Cabong. <laughs> El, El Cabong hole. Kabong! <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know what the weapon damage on this is. Originally, I designed an axe guitar to be worked like an axe, but I thought casting was cooler. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to hit him. We'll improvise weapon 1d4. Sure. Okay. Uh, that is 16 to hit. That will hit. And 1d4 plus 3 damage. Okay. To, directly to the butthole, though. <laughs> El Cabong. So apply directly to the butthole. That doesn't... Oh my god, do you get those commercials too? Yeah. The head on, apply yeah. directly to the head? Yeah. Fuck that commercial. 
That doesn't kill him, uh, but he does continue to, to run. But slower now. <laughs> Varys, it's your turn. The music is gonna get you. So I got two around me right about now? Yes, but they're, like, getting ready to run away because the grizzled orc was killed. I too cast Earth Tremor. Okay. Be careful where you stand. You don't want to knock everyone down and also kill Nate. <laughs> well, I- I'm way in the back. Y'all are up front. There's... So these are... Is it Dex? Yeah, it's Dex. Yes. Okay. Fail. Pass. What's it? Yeah, he has a different spell, DC, right? I'm a 14 on my oh, DC. Oh, yeah, same. Same yeah. one. So I got, I got an 11 and a nat 20. Okay. So Roll the if... D6 for the 11. Okay. Four. Four. Damn. He's also not prone. Prone? Okay. Does the other one take half? Doesn't take anything. No. Okay. Only They only take they only take damage when they fall. Okay. Anything else? The, the bard spells are fucking awesome. Because you can target the enemy. You're like, you know a fucking... Ogre's dumb as shit. He's not going to be very wise, so. I draw my dagger. Okay. One of the orcs that wasn't near anyone runs. Varus, the orc that passed the save, uh, is going to run. You can take an attack opportunity against him if you would like. So I draw the dagger, otherwise I'm going to hit him with a beer can. (laughs) Oh my god, guitar to the butthole is one thing. Daggers, crazy. (laughs) Oh my good lord. All right, I love out. that this entire combat has revolved around the assholes of our enemies. <laughs> it's what we call that's the a, Al- it's what we call the Alcatraz suppository. That's a fifteen to his asshole. That will hit. Roll your damage. <laughs> that is a seven to his ass. Okay. We call that ramage. <laughs> he's still alive yeah. and running, uh, and then the other one is going to use half his movement to get up. And you to got also- a knife in the butthole. <laughs> You have to interpret that. <laughs> right? You can't just say he keeps running. He's got a hobble. He got hobbles. a knife in the ass. He hobbles away with both it's hands over his butthole. Is that what, oh my is God. That what you want to hear? I just, I just want to hear that he's walking with a limp at least. Yes. You do um, realize that if we survive till next session, every single enemy we encounter is going to be wearing a steel thong. <laughs> Just put that out there. Uh, <laughs> you know what? It's easy enough okay. to win a combat. It's really, really interesting when you can make it about something. You know what I mean? Uh, Varys, the other I had enough of you bums. Is also going to run away. You already did your attack of opportunity on the one, so you can't. I won't wink at this one, though. <laughs> we have a shit ton of javelins next to you, Varys. <laughs> right? <laughs> They're all uh, over the fucking place. Let's see if you can target his bottle from 30 yards. <laughs> So, uh, Virian, give me a death save. It's like playing a game of darts. Can we give him uh, inspiration? or? or... Uh, right. No. Two successes, one failure is where I currently sit right now. And that's a 13. So that is three successes. All right. So you're stable. Uh, Mel, it is your turn. Well done, Nate. All um, right. So Grizzle useless. Guy's dead. Yes. Orcs are running. I've got an ogre. No, the ogre <laughs> ran away, but he's... <laughs> going to come back maybe who knows he might quit mm. <laughs> hang on a second he just wants every time i go out there they say back. mean things to me <laughs> oh how about we hey. hit him with dissonant whispers <laughs> <laughs> imagine okay. every time the, or- the ogre goes back in the cave what he says he's gonna butter my ass he says he's gonna it, butter my it ass won't, it won't make him run again because he's already ran, but if you if you hold that spell, you can wait till the top when he comes out of it and hit him with it immediately. Okay. <laughs> okay. That sounds even better. All right. Well, it's the ogre's turn next, and he would let be him coming... run all the way up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Okay. So it basically be around before he comes back. So, Mel, you're holding the spell. So, Renazmir and Varys, is there anything you want to do during this round <sighs> before he comes back? I want to make fun of the, the ogre as he approaches. <laughs> you want to come back here and get some more? We're, we're, we're roasting motherfuckers out here, son. Oh I'm going to pick up one of the javelins. I want him at the orcs running. Okay. Uh, are you th- you're throwing it at one of them? Yeah, that's a 16 at his ass. That will hit. 
What's the what's the damage down the javelin? One d six thrown, right? Javelin your butt. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh wait. No, I'm looking at the. Okay. Uh. Yeah. D six. That is a seven. Oh. Woo! You throw the javelin. You somehow manage to skewer him directly through the butthole, <laughs> and it goes <laughs> all the way out, and it like buries itself into the dirt. And so he's like leaning forward with this javelin. Like, <laughs> and it's just hanging out the back of him. <laughs> yes, it's just, like vibrating from the from the impact. Oh, God. And that is that is how this orc dies. <sighs> yes, <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> One of, one of the other orcs that's fleeing kind of looks back and he's like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you people? <sighs> I, do this, I, I, do that, I do that scene from Paul. <laughs> hey, Renick. <laughs> oh, I, love, I love when when you add context to how they're feeling when they're running or doing anything. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> These elves are crazy. <laughs> They're straight up <laughs> fucking our asses to death. Uh, <sighs> Mel. <laughs> Mel, Dude, the ogre Make is sure I back. write explicit on this one, please, when I post this. <laughs> yeah, explicit. <laughs> oh, wait, so he's, he's, re he's returning? Yeah. Yes. Oh, this guy on God. Twitter... This guy on Twitter who was talking about our episodes was telling someone else about Bar Company, and they go, "This is like definitely not safe for work, but it's hysterical." <laughs> Actually, you, the you idea of someone—the idea of someone trying to share this with their work friends just seems <laughs> funny as shit to me. Oh yeah, All right, you have so to tag this episode "Not Safe for Buttholes." <laughs> not safe for anywhere. Where could you listen to this? Mel, oh, he dude. fails his save. <laughs> oh. So roll your damage and what you would like to whisper to this ogre. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I like how we're pondering. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, all my drinks are down. Go for it. <laughs> Alright, ten points of damage. Okay. He's still alive. He's got the butter. I got the salt. Oh, God. <laughs> the salt? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Oh, it's going to burn. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> oh, All right, Lord. so he, like, just as he's, like, climbing back over these rocks, like, your dissonant whispers hits him. <laughs> and he's just going to, like, pushes himself off the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and starts running again. He, he uh, screams, I can't believe it's not butter! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you guys essentially have two more ra two rounds until he comes back. Virian we'll be ready for him. <laughs> is unconscious but stable. Uh, How many hit points did he take? <laughs> well, on the he, last one. He took 10 yeah, I hit damage him for 10. on the last one. So is there anything you guys are doing during these two rounds before he comes back? Making a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> can I uh, can I haul more javelins at more orcs? Are they all oh gone? my god. I'm going to take There's... some rations out until when he comes out of the cave, I'm going to be buttering a biscuit. <laughs> oh my god. There's, there's one straggler that you can you can make one more attack on. All right. I pick up. Eh, fuck, I'm taking my bow. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> Aiming for his butthole. That is 9 plus 6, 15. That will hit. Ow. Since this one was a Twizzler, I had to use an arrow. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get that. You gotta get force. Yeah. And another 7. That's how many hit points he has. <laughs> oh my god. If we don't uh, clean up the bodies, when someone comes wandering through here, oh you're like, oh god, is that gonna what? be bad? The fuck happened? Oh uh, no! This um, I had a bad game as a ranger, and oh, no. I was sniping nuts off the whole field. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that drove the deal the wall. Oh my god! I have you. I did I ever share you guys that uh, what is it called? Uh, Sharpshooter's tank nasty. Men? Which one? I got. I got to share tank men. Nate. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. You've seen tank men, right? The old cartoon from Newgrounds. 
Uh, yeah. I th- I'll, I'll, yeah. I'm going to share it with everybody after this game. <laughs> you don't know sh- that shooting him in the nuts thing is so funny. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, so, Virian, you you aim your bow and... Not Virian. Varys. Uh, Varys. Or, sorry, Varys, you aim your bow. Uh, this is similar to your javelin attack, but different. Um... <laughs> Uh, I assume you are also Different. aiming yes. for am, yes. this this orc's butthole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of because this isn't a javelin, so it can't like pin it to the ground. It just goes in one end and just like out, roughly like opposite butthole. <laughs> <laughs> it rips through his wiener. <laughs> Oh my god, oh lord! <laughs> and so the last thing this orc sees as he kind of stumbles forward is like his his lower gut sort of exploding in front of him with an arrow oh. before he kind of stumbles oh. and then like topples over <clears throat> and rolls and goes still. <laughs> he whispers before he dies, we shouldn't have meddled. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the world's worst form of Viagra. <laughs> oh dear lord. Um... Other than that, a couple rounds pass, and the ogre <laughs> comes back. Oh, you want to get what? him again? Anyone else got a dissonant whisper they want? No, I do. I do. Uh, by this time, I would have made my way up to cure and put a hand of curing on. Okay. Verily, to get him up. All right. I can't. I can't do anymore. So, so Virian, you. I are, still have one. You are conscious, Mel. Let's see. This is a wisdom. He fails. This so, so does that mean I get one HP back? Is that how that works? Once uh, I go, no. oh, I popped you with. Uh, oh, did you? Eight, eight life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So <laughs> he you H popped you. You D popped me. You V popped me. H popped. Yeah, v popped. HP. <laughs> HP. Uh, no funnel included. Mel, how much damage was that? Right, he's taking twelve points of damage. Okay. And all I'm going to do is he's just going to hear, bend over. Oh, creepy. Well, he's still alive. Um, Good! He is we running. should just leave him. We shouldn't even kill him. We should just leave. You should really bleach that thing. We're going to come back through here, and he's just going to be sitting there demoralized in the back of the cave with all yeah. these butthole wounds around him. <laughs> I want to see what's in the cave now. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so you guys have two rounds to do whatever before he comes back. What if they mark their buttholes on the cave like kids <laughs> throw? They have like different size circles. Oh my god. Yo, does anyone got any ball bearings we can leave on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so wait, you mean as opposed to how like like kids like, you know, they stand up against the wall and you mark their height on the door frame? Yeah, it's like ogre <laughs> age nine. Here, Johnny, spread your cheeks and back up against the wall. <laughs> But yet, you know, they, they squat in some ink. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And then they fart on the wall, and it kind of looks like one of those radiation patterns they use for, like, solar eclipses. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You ever it's seen like Heroes? A... You ever seen this TV show, Heroes? It's like that. Oh, God. All right. Someone just... please put this ogre out of his misery. <laughs> Is it my turn? Uh, it... Basically, you guys have a couple rounds to get ready, so you can prepare something for when he comes back, if you'd like. Uh, hmm. oh, I can cast sleep. <laughs> Someone cast sleep on him. Jesus. And then we'll just leave. <laughs> Come back oh in a week god. and see how he's doing. Oh my god. Alright, so he is, he is coming back because the book says he fights to the death, and apparently... Um... Uh, Death by asshole insecurity. <laughs> yeah. So who's doing what? He is, I got my he bow. Pretty close to death well, at this point. How many javelins are left on the floor? <laughs> uh, you threw. I know I launched like two of them. Yeah. So there's probably like two near you. All right. So who's doing what? The ogre's I'm, coming back. I'm gonna use vicious mockery on him. Okay. <laughs> my God. Unleash a string of insults. Laced with subtle enchantments at a creature you can see within range. If the target can hear you, though it need not understand you, it must succeed a wisdom saving throw oh, or man. take 1d4 oh. damage and have disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes. Oh, beautiful. Roll its wisdom. 
fail. <laughs> it takes four damage. He is still alive. Now it's not. This is not just a single whisper. This is a string of insults. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the string. The string of insults is going to be. Look what we did to your friends' butts. <laughs> your butts next, boy. <laughs> and behind you on the horizon is like the one orc that got javelin through his butt. And just <laughs> silhouette. I'm going to hold up the banner of the broken butthole. It's, uh, <laughs> All right, so that's what Renazir is doing. It's a circle broken into pieces. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? I, I mean, you can, you guys can like sort of time this so that you all... I'm gonna fire an arrow. Vicious okay. mockery is a I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. butter a javelin and throw the butter javelin. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right. Dude, you get to spray it with Pam. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic flavored. Non-sticked for your pleasure. <laughs> oh my god! I got a twenty to hit and nine damage. Okay, he is almost dead. <laughs> You're right. Back. Uh, he he was dead a long time ago. That's let's true. let's uh, <coughs> Varys, emotionally he's already dead. Varys, Varian, I'll take can... a slash at him with my sword when I and okay. yeah. roll your attack. Feel the uh fourteen. That will hit. Uh, seven. He's dead. Oh, great! I was gonna ask how thick you thought my arm was. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna try to get his pelvis. I was going to go in the back way. <laughs> I give you the butter javelin. He spray my hand with the Pam. <laughs> he, I'm a Jim Henson, this bitch. He welcomes death <laughs> and leaves this mortal coil. Uh, uh, God, you're going to make it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Rachel, did the kids do anything similar to what we did? <laughs> uh, one of the girls started kicking male in like enemies like between the legs and she got uh a pair of shoes with spikes on them specifically (laughs) (laughs) for the extra damage that it would do that is rad that's a cool move (sighs) damn it's good to specialize in something (laughs) so so what i'm hearing is next session is all about the scrotums Uh, for okay, just FYI, we probably won't be able to pay for anyone to advertise on this one. Yeah, mm. we probably shouldn't. The, do you have to let me know that. which one the butthole episode is, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I can just plan ahead. I'm gonna be like, okay, probably maybe three dollars for this one. <laughs> hey, but no, just find the right target. I mean, you know, preparation. A. Oh <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Look, I'm gonna. I swear to God, as soon as this episode's over, I'm gonna be looking into getting prep H. To fucking get on this. I'm like, hey, we got a spot for you. It's called the H pop slot. Uh, is anyone exploring the cave? Yes. We should call this episode Hemorrhoid Rage. <laughs> uh, so there is um, an unlocked treasure chest in the back of the cave. I use a javelin to lift it open. Okay. No, it's jamming it in a keyhole. It is not trapped. Okay. Uh, inside is 750 copper. Oh shit. 180 silver. Damn. 62. What is EP? Electrum. Electrum. 30 gold. And three vials of perfume worth 10 gold each. <laughs> oh lord. How Man, they electrum? think they shit don't stink. <laughs> how much electrum? 62. And how much silver? Uh, 180 silver. Holy crap. And 30 gold. And 750 copper. Yes. 30 vials of perfume. Three vials of perfume. 30, 30 perfume vials. Three vials of perfume worth 10 gold each. Dear God. The ogre had a great club and a javelin uh, hide armor. That's all size for a large creature, though. I've um, seen greater. <laughs> Ooh. Orcs had great axes, javelins, and hide armor. Uh, and nothing nothing else. I would say you guys definitely have scared off the orcs in these hills. I'm going to steal one of the hide armors, what's left of it. Okay. I, this, was, this was about making a statement. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, you left, oh, we made a you statement. You left witnesses, so they're definitely going to... You know, have a have a tale to tell. 
<laughs> oh, the tail, all right. <laughs> it's made of javelin. <laughs> <laughs> when when D Lark started like snipering their buttholes as they ran, <laughs> that was when it went off the rails, right? <laughs> like, oh, that was when. That was when. I, <laughs> the second time we had the guy run back into the fucking cave. Like that was where it was like it was still kind of we were goofing around and then we got real serious. We we're like we're gonna put them down and we're putting them down in the butthole. <laughs> we're gonna make an example of these guys. Once again, we want to thank you guys for listening to Freelance Heroism. We hope you're having just as much fun listening as we are playing. Visit us at facebook.com slash freelance heroism and leave us a like. If you'd like to see our adventures in comic form, the professional illustrates of misadventures and more at 1d4rounds.com. If you're interested in supporting us, consider donating. We're at patreon.com slash freelance underscore heroism. Keep an eye out for rewards as we add them. Our cast includes me, Dees Cassius, as Renazmir on lead guitar. David Walker as Varys on drums, Jake Sippel as Melifluor with lead vocals, and Nathan Lett as Virian Herpator, Lich Gate's executive talent agent. And let's not forget, last but not least, our suffering DM, Rachel Moore. Questions or comments? Send an email to freelanceheroismpodcast at gmail.com. Don't forget to give us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks again for listening. We'll see you next week. Until then, the invoice is in the mail. What's an invoice? <laughs> That's the voice you use inside. <laughs> For indoor concerts. As opposed to your out voice. I use my out voice all the time. <laughs>